Welcome back. It's now 913 February. It's about half over, but it's not too late to celebrate Black History Month. There are still several local events highlighting art, music and even sports that are perfect for the entire family. Leslie Bailey joining me now live with a few suggestions. She, if you didn't know, of course, the founder and CEO of Indie Maven, our own Maven. Good morning to you, Leslie. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Let's talk about a big event called Celebrating Black Voices. Where is it and what is it? This is at the Garfield Park Arts Center, and so they are celebrating all month long um, a lot of artwork by local talent here. So paintings, drawings, mixed media, sculptures, kind of everything you can imagine. So that exhibit is already open and is on display through February 26th. All right, if we're talking about the dogs, they probably know about this, but let's talk about the Butler Bulldogs in terms of location. There's a free student production at Butler University. Yes, it's called the Jubilee Black History Month Art Celebration. And so that is February 18th at 7.30 p.m. at the Trot Center for the Arts. So it's uh, dance, stories, musical performances, but they will also be live streaming that. So if you can't catch it in person, you can still uh, tap in that way. All right, for those of us who live on the east side, the city of Lawrence, not to be left out. What do we have going on there? Indeed, at the theater at the Fort in Fort Harrison on February 24th at 6.30. This is a partnership between the city of Lawrence and Arts for Lawrence. So it's a Black History Month celebration that will honor the past while also celebrate the future of Black culture. So again, a lot of like music, dance, and storytelling. All right, this next one, I admit I don't know a lot about art, but it's fun to look at. And I like to look at it and going, that's art. What are we talking about in this next case? The Fairy Art Gallery, February 26th. This is the evening, 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, also, a lot of art and gift, but this is all gifts on display for sale as well. So you can also catch some poetry and some live music, but they're also really, um, you know, showcasing this as an opportunity to meet and network with other like-minded creatives in the area too. Oh, that's a cool idea. The next idea you have is kind of an immersive event, and it's at the Global Village Welcome Center. Tell us about that one. Yes, now through March 3rd, every Saturday in February from 2 to 3 p.m., they will host um, the Indiana Historical Society's traveling, traveling exhibit, Local Speech, Global Reach. So, of course, that's going to highlight the historic moment that took place in Indiana, April 4th, 1968, focusing on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert F. Kennedy. And then they also have a supplemental uh, exhibit there that will focus on local unsung heroes and sheroes of Black history. All right, before we run out of time, let's hit one out of the park and talk about baseball. This is currently on exhibit at the Children's Museum. It's called Baseball Boundary Breakers. That's a tongue tie. Uh, so focusing on the history of black players and their achievements, um, including Jackie Robinson, Hammer and Hank Aaron, and the Indianapolis native Oscar Charleston. Leslie Bailey, the CEO of Indie Maven, as always, a great list and a lot of good information. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. No problem. For more information on all those events and more, just head to fox59.com slash links, and you'll find more great segments from Innie Maven in our Inspired Living section.